Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Steve Purdy from theautochannel.com. Uh, one of our hosts here today, of course, is the uh, Eyes on Design show, which is a wonderful show, of course. I'm wondering, um, when you're thinking of new design trends and so forth, how important is it for young designers, and even you fellas, to spend time at shows like Eyes on Design and Meadowbrook and Orphan Car Show and those kind of venues? Well, you know, you, you have to, uh, sorry, uh, inspiration comes from a lot of places, and I think uh, car designers are typically passionate about all cars, okay? I mean, I would, I would, I, I collect old Alfa Romeos, but I said if I, I'd collect anything, if I had an extra garage space, I'd probably put a Chevette in there, it doesn't matter. I mean, I think um, knowing your automotive history and paying Chevette. attention, well, maybe not a Chevette. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, knowing, knowing your automotive history and, and maintaining that interest level uh, is important to do a good job, okay? I, I find myself, you know, I'm a judge every year typically at the uh, Eyes on Design show, and when I come back to work on Monday following the show, I feel energized. You, you look at the form vocabulary that people um, tried in the past, and many of these, these uh, solutions or attempted solutions um, failed, like you look at something like the, the Chrysler Airstream or Airflow. It was, a, it was a marketing failure, but you look at the things that they were trying to do back in the late 30s, and it's inspirational. So I think that we always have to maintain, uh, stay in touch with the work that came before us. Yeah, I mean, I think um, Bob said it right. I think, I think we're all car guys at heart, and we, do this. we don't do this because it's our job. I think we do this voluntarily because we still love cars. But I think we just need to make sure we don't get caught up too much in, in history and use the sort of... Uh, the inspiration that gave these the, these older cars when they came out, use that inspiration as inspiration from when the cars are coming out in the future, and not not try and look look back too far. But I think there's a great point in terms of how people sculpted cars and how people use surfaces is something that I think you know, we lost the art of, and you know maybe in the 80s. And that, but I think and I think we're getting that back, and I think some production techniques are helping us to get that back. We, we don't build a panel with six different panels and fill it with lead anymore, but, uh, but we, we can still at least do much more three-dimensional form with it than we used to be able to do. Yeah, I think that the, the inspiration of these old cars is like uh, Maury is saying, the, the process that those guys used to be able to use in the, in the real old antiques. You know, our, within Volvo, the stamping guys that, that produce our sheet metal for us, they've said, Ten years ago, they said, we, we couldn't build a, a PV 544 today. We, we couldn't make those panels. And when you get to look at the old cars and see the kind of forms that they were able to achieve with these, you know, by today's standards, too costly and uh, outmoded production techniques, it makes you drive harder. When you're sitting in a room full of engineers who are telling you you can't stamp this and you can't stamp that, it, you point at things yeah. like the old and cars you and you say, they did it, we've, we've got to be able to do this. And you guys have to figure out a way to achieve it. 